So the uh, inlets have now had a chance to dry up and now we're going to fix them up. Now, given the tightness of the um, areas in which we need to do filling, I'm going to be using this uh, Tester's Contour Putty. Uh, I like this because it lets you get in real close with the use of this applicator nozzle. Now during this step you want to be very careful and want to use a sparing amount. Of course you want to make sure it wants to start for you. About that, Sometimes. you definitely want to learn. Well, with model building, is patience. As sometimes stuff just doesn't want to work right the first time. Now you want to try and make sure you do put down enough to sure. Oh shoot. I don't want to do what I just did and accidentally spray out a lot more than you need. It's okay, we can make that work. Okay. And you, at this point, you want to. Do both sides in one go so we can get everything nice and dry around the same time. So we can just do one set of sanding and all that all at the same time. Now, if you want to, you can also fill any other areas that you think may need getting. For In this case, these areas really didn't go in well, so. Do a little fill, patch filling in here. Okay, and done. And just do one last one over for you. Finish up just to make sure you got everywhere that needs getting. Or to. Alright. That looks just about it. So now we're just gonna let set this aside for a little bit and let it dry and generally it'll take my advice is to let this sit for several hours as uh, in my experience this stuff takes a while to dry now one of the next items the instructions call for is adding the rear horizontal stabilizer Users. Now, it's been in my personal experience that you do not want to do this. Now, it's better to leave them off and paint them off than to go ahead and attach them. As I have done it so, knock off stabilizers so many times, uh, it's 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 more trouble putting them on at this point than it really is worth. Um. <clears throat> so, it is a good idea, however, to obviously dry fit, which we'll do uh, after the other dries, just to make sure the fit is pretty good. So, I'll go ahead and trim those out.
Now, what's also nice about stabilizers is generally they are they'll come on a double tree such as this one, so they're they're pretty much universal. So it doesn't matter. You can put one on the each side. You just want to be careful though when you're painting, however, of um, how um, each side is supposed to go. As I <laughs> I've made the mistake before of painting the same thing and basically having a double so it was like this instead of being like this. So again you just it's back to your basic trimming for this but since these are gonna be don't require any type of assembly or anything we'll obviously finish them up more or less right now. Now this spot here um, you don't need to do as good a job cleaning up since it's not going to be seen. You, excuse me. Just need to get it clean enough that it'll, the part will uh, fit on. So again using your sanding sponge ideally. Just give it a really quick one over. Make sure it's good and smooth okay. again you want to keep moving your sponge around so as to get use all the sponge surface okay that one's basically done now As I was saying before, um, a lot of cases, the stabilators, instead of having this tab, and this is more so for modern jets, since modern jets have all moving uh, horizontal stabilators, um, those are extremely easy to knock off. So, you definitely want to be careful uh, with this type of tab setup. You can attach them I guess but I, I still prefer keeping them off till final assembly just because it's easier to paint them especially if you're doing a camouflage pattern now for this one tab which is going to do your basic quick one over with the exacto and just out of time so since these are done uh, come back after this dries up and we'll just clean that up